Okay, let's check in with meteorologist Michael Sager to take a look at this mild start to your Thursday. Michael. Yeah, temperatures this morning quite mild. A lot of us in the low 50s to start things out, and we've got a lot of cloud cover out there. That is signs of moisture that has been increasing across green country with that southerly breeze that we've had. And we might even squeeze out a few showers with that increasing moisture by later on today. But I'm not really expecting much, at least through the afternoon hours, but just keep an umbrella on standby. But if you get an isolated shower or two, it will be possible. Get any rainfall amounts to be very light through the afternoon. However, our rain chances will go up as we go into this evening and overnight tonight through tomorrow morning as the storm system will be sweeping through. That will provide more lift to the atmosphere. So as that lift occurs, that air will rise and will cool the temperatures and condense that moisture that's in the air and we'll get a better chance of some rain as that happens. So I expect some rain overnight tonight. Might even get a rumble of thunder or two out of what we see tonight. We'll probably wake up tomorrow morning with still some of those showers around, but the overall trend will be that rain to be moving on out as we go through tomorrow, but may have a chance for a lingering shower into tomorrow afternoon. But the again, overall trend will be to dry out tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. How about this view here? Beautiful look from Brookside back toward downtown Tulsa. Again, we've got some clouds overhead. Wade's RV weather camera network with those great views out there this morning and not a lot of rain to be found. We've got a couple little showers here in northeast Texas. You can see some of the showers here working through West Texas, Oklahoma Panhandle in the southwestern portions of Kansas. That's our storm system that will give us our rain chances later tonight. Doesn't really look too impressive right now, but I do think that's going to fill in some and become a little heavier as it approaches us later on this evening and into tonight. But notice here as we go hour by hour through the afternoon, for at least us here in eastern Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas, we may get an isolated shower through the afternoon. The higher chances of rain through the afternoon hours will be more towards central and western Oklahoma, but this will track over us overnight tonight and in through tomorrow morning. So here's the time now as we wake up tomorrow morning, the bulk of the rain moving on out, but still some lingering rain through the morning hours and then drying out tomorrow afternoon, but still a lot of cloud cover and we'll still hold on to at least a slight chance of a shower going into tomorrow afternoon. We'll have another storm system moving in over the weekend. That chance of rain will be highest probably Saturday night through Sunday morning. And when you combine what we get tonight with that system, a lot of us will probably end up with about one to two inches of rain out of this as we go through Christmas. So uh, we may pick up some beneficial rain. We'll certainly welcome that. And in between the two systems, we'll still have some slight chances of some showers lingering, but I think the highest chances will certainly be tonight and again Saturday night. But even today, just keep that umbrella on standby. We may get an isolated shower or two. We'll be up into the low 60s this afternoon for those highs, so very comfortable. And we'll watch that rain chance increasing as we go through the evening and into later on tonight. So maybe an isolated shower by 7 o'clock, but then late tonight, if you are going to be out and about, that rain chance certainly will be going on up. And notice how mild we keep the temperatures through Christmas Eve with highs in the 60s, but a cold front comes in Christmas Eve evening into Christmas Eve night and then Chilling down as we go into Christmas Day. Highs will be back into the 40s on Christmas Day, and we'll keep that chill around as we head into the middle of next week.